Hello there and welcome to Social for Startup. Uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial now about how you use Facebook advertising. Um, Facebook pages are very good for customer retention. Um, they're very good for keeping existing customers happy. So it's, you know, the people who have already purchased from you, get them onto the Facebook page and it keeps them informed of new things. It's not always very good for customer acquisition, for finding new customers. Unless you have a very active customer base who are regularly sharing your content and commenting on your content, um, Facebook will not show your Facebook page to people who do not like the page or they will do it very irregularly. Uh, the reason for that is Facebook is a business and they need to make money and they make their money via advertising. So to get your Facebook page out to new people, generally you will want to pay for it. Now Facebook advertising currently, and I'm talking to you at the beginning of November 2017, is considered to be one of the most efficient uh, and productive forms of online advertising. It does outperform uh, Google paper click right now and there are three things that you will generally promote you will promote your page to get more people liking it you will promote your website to get more people traveling to your website and you can promote individual posts to get individual items out to a broader audience and they do work in very slightly different ways and I'm going to go through each of those three things for you in the video today and we are going to start with promoting your page. So what you want to do is if you hit this promote button here, there are various different things that you can promote. And I am going to come here and promote the page. Now the idea of promoting your page is to get more people who like the page. If they like the page, then your posts will hit their timeline. They'll be able to see it, like it, share it with other people. It gives you an opportunity here to um, upload different photographs if you don't like them and adjust some of this. You can edit this kind of a thing. It'll show you what it looks like as well on um, the desktop, on a mobile or a tablet, and what it will look like when it comes up in the right-hand column of someone's Facebook feed, which is where all the advertising sits. So you can make sure that you're happy with the way it looks. What I would suggest for something like this is to choose people through targeting here. Now this I mean, and one of the most important elements of marketing is to understand who and what your customers are. Now, what you might want to do is to think, uh, are my customers predominantly men or women? So select one or other. So let's say it might be men. Um, an age range. Now, if you've got an age specific um, business, if you're looking for a youth audience, if you're trying to engage with um, people, you know, parents, uh, people in the later years, then you've got parameters from 13, which is the youngest um, the, the terms and conditions of Facebook allow people to set up a profile, um, up to 65 plus. So it could be that your target demographic is between the ages of 25 and 40, in which case you just select between 25 and 40. You can then start putting in locations. Now it can be very broad, such as the United States if you wish, but you could potentially be very very specific so I might look as this is where I want to put Bedfordshire now that is actually the town of Bedford rather than the entire uh, entire county so if I put Bedford in there it means that little audience there which is within a um, 40 kilometer radius of Bedford are the people that will be shown my video or my advert to like my page that means that if I am a business that is not really going to be traveling any more than 40 kilometers away from my location, uh, I'm not getting people from Birmingham and Oxford showing an interest or liking my page because they're not people I'm ever going to travel to to do work for. So it's not helpful. And obviously you've got this tab here and you can change the radius as much as you like. So as close as as far away as you can. And you can add any number of these tabs. Now you can add towns you can add villages, you can add counties, you can add countries. So you can begin to get very, very specific on who sees your post. So currently, only men between the ages of 25 and 40 who live in a 40 kilometer radius of Bedford are going to see this advert, which means I'm not wasting my money on someone from Birmingham liking my page who is never going to be my customer. 
And this is quite important. You really do need to laser target this stuff. You can never blame Facebook for poor results on an advertising campaign. Facebook will do exactly what you tell it to do. You just need to make sure that you're putting that post or that advert in front of the right people. So again, we've got interests. What you can do here is to begin to put keywords in and I would definitely suggest that you do. So business and industry for this page because it is about social media, business and industry online and in here I might want to put social media, if I can type properly social media and it will give me various different options so for instance social media marketing which is what we're talking about and I would suggest you really do focus on putting a nice group of keywords in there because again what happens is Facebook will look at the profile of the people who are on Facebook and if their profiles are talking about social media or business they will then make sure your advert goes to them also, if they're talking, you know, if you're talking about or if they're talking about it, so someone has posted on their Facebook timeline about social media or business, again, Facebook will know that they're talking about it at the moment and then will promote the page to them. And similarly, if someone goes up to the search function on Facebook and searches for social media or business, Facebook will show them your advert. So this targeting is the important thing to make sure that your business works and so far with my targeting um, we've got men and women age group location keywords it's saying that my audience uh, is actually pretty good and it's potentially a hundred thousand people that I can promote my business to which is fantastic so I've narrowed the audience I'm going to save that and we'll go back to the advert and it's saying my audience selection is great it's all green and we love it so then we've got budget and duration so the budget here is entirely flexible you can choose whatever you like so they've got some standard ones here um, but also bespoke ones where you can actually add whatever value that you like so I can go into here now and I might want to put 12 pounds in and for 12 pounds I'm going to get between 8 and 30 new people liking my page. That's people who see the advert and hit that like button. So they'll see this advert on their feed and they'll hit the like button. So that's between 8 and 30 likes per day. Now I can then choose the duration of this. So if I run the ad until the 13th of November, it's currently the 3rd of November, so for 10 days, it'll cost me £120. It'll run for 10 days and end on the 13th of November. Now, I can be entirely flexible with that. I can have it for 20 days, I can have it for 14 days, or if I want to, I can just run it whenever I like. So if I just want to run it for one day, there we go, I've selected one day, I'll run the ad until tomorrow. It probably won't get me, well, it'll be eight to 30 likes, but I've got that in there. Payment methods, you'll have to put your payment methods in beforehand because this is, after all, a marketing thing that you're paying Facebook for. And then semi-updates and tips for adverts that are created and managed under this account, an option to get some kind of tutorials in there as well. And then when you hit the promote button, that promotion will start. You can cancel it at any time you like, but it will then be put by Facebook under the noses of the people that you have selected. And the better you select those people, the more likely you are to get interaction. Now, the way this one works is that you will only be charged when someone hits the like button. So when someone takes action. So this isn't about how many people see it. This is about how many people take action. So if someone hits that like button on the advert, Facebook will charge you. It's pay per click. So if someone clicks on the like button, you will be charged. The great thing about that is every time you are charged it's because someone's taken positive action and you know that they have now liked your page and that means then you have to provide content to keep them liking and sharing on the page um but you know eight to thirty likes new you will get at least that if your advert is any good so don't blame facebook if you don't get the likes it's not their fault it's because you didn't target it right or it's because you know your imaging or your message isn't quite right so you might want to tweak that but if no one clicks the like button you haven't lost anything because you haven't been charged any money it's a pay-per-click one 
So that is how it works in actually promoting the page. It works incredibly similarly. I'm going to cancel the promotion there in terms of promoting your website as well. So if we go to get more website visitors, you'll see exactly the same thing will happen. You'll add the URL. Here we go. I'll just sort of shove one in. There we go. Um, text, social media advice and tutorials for startup businesses. Obviously you can add that, ignore that because that's my other, my other website for my other hobby. Um, you can add a video if you don't want an image. You know, you can add images of videos. Again, videos are great. Seriously, that video could be your elevator pitch or a product demonstration or whatever. You can be very, very powerful uh, as far as that is concerned. Um, and then you've got all of your targeting and audience again. So just what we saw with the tutorial um, on liking your page, you can go in and start targeting people. It's telling me it's Drew Board. I'm not gonna do all of that again because you saw that in the earlier part of the, um, the video. So once you've done that, you've got the same budget and durations. And it says the actual amount spent every day may vary, which will vary on the number of clicks. But they're saying you'll get for three pounds a day, three to five people visiting your website. You'll spend a total of 30 pounds on ad for uh, 10 days and payment methods again. Or we can run the promotion on Instagram at the same time as well. If that is your target demographic, you just untick that if necessary. So that is to get people to travel to your website. It's got this kind of learn more bit. They can like the page from there or they can learn more about the website. Um, up to you where you send them. Now, generally you would be sending people potentially to your homepage, but if you're doing a specific event or there is a specific thing you want people to look at, you can actually then put uh, the link to the page you want them to go to. But think about where you want your customers to end up. Generally for this kind of thing, it is the home page, but if there is something specific going on, you might be able to include that as well. So we've got a nice advert, which is gonna go out. It's pay-per-click again, just like the like button for your Facebook page. Um, and it's entirely flexible and be, can be canceled at any time. And you know, it could be a good thing to do if you have a brand new website, it does take a while for it to get traction on Google. So if you can actually force people there through some you know, reasonably inexpensive paid advertising, it does help search engine optimization and help Google understand that this is the website that people are using and getting to grips with. So very, very similar to the like page. This is about reaching targeted people and for them clicking a button to go to a source. And you will only be charged when they click through to that source, which does make it very, very cost effective. Okay, the final one I'm going to talk about in the tutorial today is boosting a post. Now, this is a slightly different form of, of advertising. What you want to do is you boost, you've created a post. So that could be about an event that's going on. It could be about a new product that you're going to do, the grand opening of your shop, a particularly important piece of advice or legislational changes or something like that. Something you think is going to be really, really valuable to your existing and to external customers that you really want them to see. And it's got to be something that adds value. It's got to be something that really is going to lead to hopefully a conversion to a sale. The other two about getting people onto a platform, onto your website, onto your Facebook page so you can engage with them. This is about taking something very specific and reaching as many people as possible. And that means that it's got to be good content. It's got to be content that people actually want to look at because this time you're not paying for clicks. And I'll explain that in a second. So let's say I want to promote this YouTube video. Um, if I hit the boost post button, which will be at the bottom of every single post you put up, we will see that we've got a very similar kind of setup. So people who choose through targeting, yeah, I've already obviously selected a target for this. Uh, this time we're looking at a total budget. So you will pay 15 pounds and that 15 pounds will happen regardless. And they will guarantee that that post will reach between 2,200 and 5,800 people within your selected target. It's saying you're gonna average, because this is gonna run until the sixth, so that is just two days. It's the third, three days. You'll pay five pound a day. It'll run for three days, ending on the 6th of November. Now reach, reach is a, a stat that is often bandied around to confuse people. 
but essentially reach is how many people see the advert. So if someone, uh, if your advert is on someone's feed and they're just, I mean, I'm sure we've all done it on Facebook or on Twitter or anything like that. We just, we just want to get to the top. We don't want to look at the, the post that's there at the moment. And we will scroll very, very, very quickly all the way down our page with all of the posts whizzing past our eyes at a thousand miles an hour. Well, if the advert is one of those ones whizzing past someone's eyes at a thousand miles an hour, that's reach. They've seen it. It's gone past their field of vision, but they haven't stopped and looked at it necessarily. So reach means that they will show it to a large number of people. The critical thing is not how many people see it, but how many people choose to do something with it. And this is why it's important to be very selective about the posts that you boost. It's got to be something that adds value to that customer. It's got to be something that makes them stop and look. Now, something is going to be of interest. It's got to be interesting, educational, or entertaining. Something that will actually make them stop and go, I want to learn more about that, so they click on the post. And again, that post really needs to be sending them somewhere to do something. So in this case, it's a YouTube video. Send them to YouTube video. If you've got a monetized channel, that is advertising revenue potentially, or it is going to get them to gain credibility with you so they engage with the website or wherever else we're gonna go. Um, it could be a, a, a sale that you're doing, a sale of goods. It could be a new product. It could be a, an interesting blog article, whatever it is. It is imperative that you don't spend money on posts that no one cares about. Really be very selective about the posts that you choose to boast, uh, boost, sorry, because you will pay 15 pounds. And if you haven't done a good job of making sure the post is engaging, you spent 15 pounds with no reward at all. The website clicks and the Facebook likes, those bits of advertising, there's a reward because you're only charged when someone takes action. As far as boosting a post is concerned, I'm afraid you are only going to be seen by people. It is your job to make sure that the people that see it stop and look at it and take action. So that is a blanket payment that you will pay regardless of outcome. And if there isn't a good outcome, like I said, you can't blame Facebook. They are simply going to show your post to the people you've told them to show it to. That is what boosting posts will do. It's not about pay-per-click. It's not about getting people to take action. It's about showing that post to as many people as possible, but the post then has to be good enough to encourage them to take action, to click on the link, to click on the video, whatever it might be. So it's slightly longer video than normal, but I thought it was important to put those um, three things out there. Those are the kind of three very basic elements of advertising on Facebook. I say currently it's considered to be one of the more effective pay-per-click advertising systems out there uh, and is outperforming Google pay-per-click um, a little bit. But selective, be very selective. There's a very controllable budget in this, so make sure you allow that control. You make sure that you don't spend more money. Be conservative. And if that conservative effort is getting a fabulous return on investment, then it might be worth spending some money on. Keep an eye on it look at the notifications you get, look at the return you're getting, particularly around boosted posts, because like I said, um, if no one's taking action on the post you've boosted, it's, in many respects, it's a waste of your money. Um, so be very particular about what you post, but those are the three main things, to get people to, more people liking the page itself, which gives you greater exposure, more people visiting your website, which is generally these days where people make purchasing decisions, so a great place for them to be, and thirdly, how to get a particular post out to more people. So I hope that has been a useful video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have found it useful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I update this channel on a regular basis with elements of social media um, and digital marketing. So um, thank you very much for watching and we'll speak again soon. Bye bye for now.